Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. What can you tell me about this part of town? Well, it's not that bad. Thanks to people like the sad saint of the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private holy figure. Few are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps, with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. I see. So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Well, something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. Why does your waitress feel in danger working on the docks? This part of town is dangerous for all, but for women it's worse, as always. Sabrina is a brave girl, but she can't help feeling in danger. Do you think she has good reason to feel this way? Are you not worried about her safety? Of course I am. The truth is, she's tougher than me deep inside. She just has to learn to control it. Sabrina seems very fond of you, Tom. I like her too. I really do. I know I'm her boss, and I'm much older and all. But I like her, for sure. What is bothering you, then? Sabrina is an angry one. She wears it like a coat. I'm not sure I can make her shed that anger. It hurts to see her like that. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Oh, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. That would explain his faith and need to help everyone. The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Goodbye, Mr. Watts.
heads locked. So much alcohol, he could keep this district afloat for quite some time. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those Prewin guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. I apologize, Doctor, but it, it's just that I prefer to avoid the law, its enforcers, and all manner of thugs in uniform. Here is your booze. I hope it will appease your customers. Just try not to kill anyone with this poison of yours. <laughs> Believe me, Doctor, most of my customers are less agreeable when sober. Tell me about your arrest for attempted murder, Tom. I tried to kill someone. I got arrested. I paid my debt and I have nothing to hide. So you mean your customers know about your sordid past? Yeah, why do you think this is the last pub open? I have nothing to hide, and I don't judge. That's a relief for many round here. Do you think prison changed you? Made you a better man? Oh, I don't know about that. All I brought back is bad memories, scars, <laughs> and an ugly tattoo of a blue turtle. But do you feel cleansed of your sins? All I know is that I'm at peace. I did what I did, but I wouldn't do it again. Does that make me a better man? I don't know. Oh. 
Why not leave town and start a new life after you got out of jail? I grew up in the East End. This is where my roots are. This is where I want to help others and die eventually. Do you think the docks will always be a hive of scum and villainy? As long as poverty and fear run the show, I don't see how it would change. Misery loves company, as they say. Don't you feel threatened, staying in such a violent and criminal neighborhood? I've made peace with my violent past, Dr. Reed. I may not be a pacifist, but I'm not angry anymore. Attempted murder. Give me some details. I was given an order. An order to kill. I was an obedient gang member at the time. A proud, wet boot boy. Why did you join the gang? Because I finally felt useful. Do you have any idea what it means to feel respected when the rest of the world shits on you? So you were ordered to kill someone. What happened then? I don't know if you can possibly understand, but... I couldn't kill him. I just stood there pointing my gun. Someone saw me. I gave up. Why couldn't you shoot? My target was eating in that fancy restaurant with mirrors and music. He was eating, drinking, laughing. He was having such a good time. I hated him for his bottomless appetite and easy life of easy pickings. And then something happened. You realized what it means to take a life. You feared what it would be like to carry that guilt with you. Believe me, Doctor, I wasn't scared. I wasn't even afraid to f